Okay, so hey guys, um, I'm going to be making two videos. This one is going to be about my final decision for my traveling and living expenses, and the next one is going to be um, for recovery and pretty much um, like caregiver, recovery places, and just all that stuff. So, um, I never got any comments or anything back as far as helping me to decide whether or not to take train or plane to Los Angeles from Dallas, Texas. Um, but even though plane is cheaper, train offers, um, they, on the way back, I can have a room with chairs, like, well, there's a chair and then there's like an above thing and like pretty much those turn into beds. There's beds. So while I'm recovering, I can just lay in the bed and relax. And the train ride is three days long. So three days of recovery, you know. Um, so yeah. And on the way there, I'm going to take coach seats which cost about eight something yeah like if it's just me and my friend Jessica so for two adults it's from a guy named Brandon at Amtrak I called today and I got him as my representative um, it's $844 for one room and two coach seats for three adults it's uh, $1392 for two rooms and three coach seats for three adults and one senior, because I was thinking of like me, my friend Jessica, my friend Consuelo, and my mom. So that would be, that was pretty much four people. So 164360 for two rooms and four coach seats. Um, so yeah. So not only that, but um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner are included. And there's showers and bathrooms. So that's awesome because you know you don't want to be arriving anywhere stinky or nothing you know like oh let me go freshen up like dude you've been on like a 10 hour flight man you need to like sanitize too <laughs> I mean you know you don't want it to like that I mean like hey flap them <laughs> high pressure high temperature water hoses <laughs> anyway um so yeah I chose Amtrak uh, just because I'm able to like ride with seats to Los Angeles and come back to where I can like stay in a room in a bed for the next three days on the train getting breakfast lunch and dinner like you get all of that like you don't get that on a on a plane you know unless it's one of those high luxury planes and then how much the airplane tickets cost like a lot more so this is the stuff I have sorry if it um, shows up I don't know if it is or isn't showing up it was a minute ago sorry about that anyway um, so yeah that's the info as far as living expenses um, I found a great place it's in Los Angeles I forgot what neighborhood but I looked for I looked within neighborhoods that are near Culver City and I found a place and it's like eighty eight dollars a night but it went down to eighty six. Um, regardless if it's two people, three people or four people, the price it's it's pretty much eighty six dollars a night. And I did it for, okay, what if it's two guests, three guests, four guests. And this is for about 26 or 28 days. The maximum is 28 days that they'll let you stay. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, the cost comes out to $2,478. $2,478. I know you think, oh my gosh. But, um, I plan on staying in Los Angeles for the surgery for recovering, for the post-op, and for another week of like recovering in case I have any questions or complications or anything, I can still go back 
to my doctor and get it all checked out and stuff like that before I leave to come back home. So that way I know that there's no issues that are going to pop up and arise and things like that. Um, so yeah, so that's for about 28 days, so that's three to four weeks. Um, so that's, that's pretty much my transportation and living expenses. The price for transportation with Amtrak, it can change, it will change based off availability, the train, and just a lot of other stuff that the guy Brandon was telling me about. Um, so yeah, so I'm choosing train, and I've already found the place that I want to stay in. They offer like, one bedroom has a queen bed, the other one has a twin, and then there's like a pull-out couch that, that's like a queen bed also. So, like, if there's, like, three or four people, we can all get in there. And then also, um, we can bring an air mattress, I think. Or they, or the people said that they have an air mattress that they can pull out if need be. So, I mean, I figured 88, I mean, $86 a night for 28, you know, days, you know, that's good. Um, of course, we will be leaving three days before the day that I'm supposed to get back home so like kind of like if you're if you live on Wednesday you get and it's a straight shot back you'll get back the next day next day or two at least like two being the most and that's kind of stretching it but if you leave on a day that it's not for a straight shot train then it will take three days so I have to kind of consider that as well um when going back and planning this, because uh, the quote that I initially got um, was twenty two eighty three, and now the quote is like sixteen forty three sixty. So it went down a lot, like sixteen seventy eight nine twenty two one two two three, like seven hundred dollars. It went down by $700 between then and now. And I think that was only like a day or two ago. So, yeah. As you can see, it like fluctuates a lot. Um, but yeah, so now <laughs> I'm going to make the video about um, options for recovery.